Right then guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I've just been on Facebook and just managed to go and pick this uh, orange tree maple, very similar to Katsura maples, same kind of colours. Um, and I'm really quite impressed with this one actually. It's a lovely looking maple as it is, like, I mean, it's come out of leaf, so just look at those leaves though, the lovely spring leaves. Um, it's got a pretty decent trunk already and um, I'm, I'm assuming it will probably be grafted and most of these maples are but I don't think that looks too bad of a graft if it is a graft um, but I might be lucky and this might just be one that's actually been grown um, but it's got a really nice trunk uh, if you spin it around this way here it's actually got some possible really nice uh, nabari starting that I think could really make the tree look great giving it some time um, and it's got what really a lot of them and um, that you find in garden centers of these ones is they're actually all quite high up the foliage and um, but this one was really nice it had it has some really low branches um, up here you see here and um, we've got this one here we got this one here we got this here there's another branch up here and then you go into all these main big long branches and they've all got tons and tons of growth on them um, now my plan obviously with this I can't repot this now I can't really cut it now because the roots are just extracting all their stored uh, energy and pushing out these new leaves um, so unfortunately at the moment I'm not going to be able to do much with it I'll wait until summer um, or late spring until I can do uh, a first prune on some parts but the idea actually is if you see these big long shoots here I'm not going to need like all of this one here this main one and um, once I figure out what I have what height I want um, and everything like that um, I may end up doing a air layer and I was contemplating doing it around here around this join somewhere um, I'd quite like to keep this as possibly the apex and eventually have the main tree about this size showing size um, but there is no reason obviously why I can't get some really nice air layers out of this thing because it's I love maples and I haven't got enough of them so if I can get a couple trees out of this um, that will be great now I haven't done many air layers um, so I'll have to check um, but I'm pretty sure now is possibly the all right time to do air layers or it might be in the summer it's possibly in the summer I'll have to double check that I haven't really done many to uh, myself go watch someone's video or something look on Google um, so yeah I just wanted to show this off um, and show the tree I haven't really dug down massively um, but I'm guessing there's quite a lot of uh, trunk that's possibly still down here actually saying that and we might actually have some lower nabari that's already thicker than the um, than the tree so we might you can see there's tons of tons and tons of roots so the best bit might be that we um I'm sorry my thing is getting in the way. Best bit might be that we actually can take off at some point some of these higher roots and um and then keep the bottom ones if there is any thicker ones. I mean this is quite a nice one here. Um but we'll have to see. I'll dig around a bit, so a little dig and just, just see how much of a how much of a base we actually have with these nursery stock they're always planted very high up in the uh in the pots anyway so you can see down there from the focus there is quite a bit of a trunk anyway um but i think this is a lovely lovely looking tree um i was lucky to pick this up it's about 20 quid so it's really quite interesting and i always like trees where you can buy them at this kind of stage and then um develop these branches like this branch here I've got to figure out the front uh, which is possibly here because you've got this back branch this one can come out to the side a bit more and then this one obviously down here or I can come out here um, but these two are then level with each other so I don't think that looks too great as a front from this direction and this one's coming out towards you um, I suppose you could do this angle as well get that down get that down and bring this out around the back like that 
that would also work. Uh, leave me your thoughts in the comments because I haven't, I love maples massively, but I haven't actually done tons and tons of work with maples. Um, I've got quite a young one if you look behind me here. See, I've got a couple of Sojos, there's one there, um, and then there's the one over there as well, just the normal Acer Palmatum um, maples, and then the Arakara that is up there as well. Um, so yeah, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what, but I can't prune this yet because it's just pushing out leaves and I don't want to affect it in any way, basically. So we'll leave it, I'll see when I can do air layers. Um, but if you guys have got any uh, points in the comments that you can make on maybe possible fronts, um, then that would be, that would be great. Obviously there's a front, there's a front, uh, we'll bring this out or we can make, just turn it slightly more this way, cut this branch back or, and uh, wire it this way um, and make some layers, which I think will look really, really nice with the tree. All right, all right guys. So I know I said about um, not possibly doing it now, but I spoke to a couple of people and um, I've decided I'm gonna do it now. Um, they seem to be saying it's all right, it should be all right which is nice because that means I can get it done, hopefully, before the uh, the summer I can take them off as long as they've rooted. Um, so the first one I'm gonna do is up here, just below this uh, node up here. Um, I'm gonna create a, it's a fairly size, it's probably way too big. Um, it is a bit big actually saying that I might do it up further. Um, I know I don't really want all of this. I was contemplating doing it here and taking this branch off, but I might still want this branch as a new leader. Um, so I'm going to leave this section of the tree and do these longer bits further up. I might still be able to at some point later in the year in the summer um, do an air layer here if I really want to and get another tree out of it, a little show him one. But at the moment I think this bit up here, probably here, probably along this whole level of the tree above my hand there will be air layers. Um, so I'll get the first bit cut out and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, so I've done the first two that I'm going to do today. Um, I've done one LA here. You can see I've made two indents along and then cut the bark back to leave an area. Um, and then I've also done here, one here, which I've just put um, the bag on just to show you. Um, I didn't really have much plasticky kind of bags, so I'm actually using these kind of uh, sandwich bags of sorts. Now I've kind of created a, a funnel with this one um hopefully this will be all right i basically put a zip tie quite tightly on there to keep it airtight because the key with this is you want to keep it airtight and then i'll shove that with rooting powder in a minute and then put the sphagnum moss in and then somewhere along here i will um i will zip tie it up just under this node up here um so yeah and then i'll do the same with this one and then hopefully in four to six weeks, if we're lucky enough, with the nice weather and everything, this and this will be two new uh, trees that I can just put in a pot and leave until spring um, and see what happens. And then the bottom half of this tree, once all of this is done and sorted and these are off, I will be, um, I will probably make sure about um, putting it in the ground maybe and seeing if I can thicken up the trunk. But anyway, I'll be back in a minute. All right guys, so um, first air layers are done actually. My first ever two air layers, these. So if they go wrong, we'll know why. Um, it's because I'm a noob. Um, but either way, I, uh, I looked online, asked some people, watched some videos just to refresh. I kind of knew how to do it already, but thought I'd test it out. So I've made the cuts, as you saw in a previous clip. I then put a load of rooting hormone over them. Um, and then I've wrapped them around in these uh, quite thick uh, plastic sandwich kind of bags. Um, and then I've zip tied each ends off to keep them in um, just to make sure that there is, it's all completely airtight and there's a fair bit of moss in there. I'm hoping that's enough. Unfortunately, the bags are quite smallish, so I couldn't shove in tons, um, but the branches aren't massively thick. So, um, I won't need hopefully massive amounts of roots but there should be enough moss in there um, to to produce enough roots at least just get one of them to survive 
would be nice but anyway yeah we'll do that this one i'm not sure about if i want to air layer or uh maybe make the new leader once i cut here once these two are gone um because eventually i might cut around here and this will be the new leader coming up from here um which could be an idea um but yeah either way i think it's going to be a really nice looking tree um once i've managed to be able to style out the bottom half and obviously once this top half has come off um, and then at some point garden is a mess at the moment because i haven't been through and weeded it um, but i might try and squeeze the maple in somewhere into the beds um, just to just to allow it to thicken up a bit more um, and improve this nabari that's down the bottom but anyway, anyway i hope you guys enjoyed um, i know i've said it already in the first clip but take care and I'll update you in four to six weeks time, hopefully early summer when these should be producing some roots.